where Fury talks about radioactive bug bites and mutants. Yes, that's right. Uh, which obviously was deleted from the movie because they didn't have the rights to yeah. Spider-Man well, I mean, and Mutants. Well, I mean, it was an alternate take. Yeah. So I, I, I literally think it was just there just for the lols. Do you think so? It was there just for fun. Uh, you might say, you said earlier on, by the way, about the gamma rays. Apparently, the, the big rumour at the minute is that whenever um, Hulk snapped his fingers those two times, it sent gamma radiation out into the universe. Uh-huh. And that's where mutants are going to be coming from. Oh. See, I thought it was going to be something a little more simple like that, like She-Hulk. Yeah, possibly. Or some like something to do with She Hulk. I don't know. Well, as I say, it's all it's all up in the air at the minute. Uh, James Gunn has revealed the full cast list for Suicide Squad. Or yes, he has Suicide Squad. Um, if I can ever get it to load up here, um, I know my boy Rooker's in it. Your boy Rook? Oh yeah, Michael who, Rooker who denied that he was in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime James Gunn makes a movie, Michael Rooker's there. Yeah, um, surprisingly, Jared Leto, who we'd heard might be in the movie, isn't in the movie. Having said that, I know the two of them have history together, Gunn and Leto. Yeah. Um, they basically hate each other. Having said that, I would imagine if Joker is in this movie, it might be a cameo, so he probably wouldn't make the main cast anyway, and it might be more of a, oh, yes, there's Joker. I don't know. I think he's he's more busy prepping for Birds of Prey. Yeah, I, th- I think, you think he's going to be a bird? Well, I th- we know that he's yeah. in, in the scene. He's, he's in Birds of Prey more than, than anything else. Uh, right, who else have we got? So Michael Rooker, um, I don't think there's been anybody in it that we didn't already know, to be honest. Uh, Margot Robbie's back, Jay Courtney's back, Joel Kinnaman's back, Viola Davis is back, Idris Elba is going to be in it, John Cena. Uh, is it confirmed, that, so, sorry, is it confirmed that Idris Elba is dead shot? He's not dead shot. He's not dead shot? He's not dead shot. Oh, thank God for that. No, they've, they've left the window open for dead shot to return down the lane. Um, the full trailer has dropped for HBO's Watchmen TV series. Haven't seen it. Yeah, I I think it looks pretty good. The weird thing about it is, to me, I think it's weird anyway, is that it's a sequel to the graphic novel, which is a good thing. But I would have thought for more general audiences, it would have made more sense for it to be a sequel to the movie, the yeah, Zack Snyder movie. But it's not because in the there's like an extended scene been released or like a behind the scenes, and in it you actually see the alien. That dropped on the city that attacked the city at the end of the graphic novel. Yeah, it's in the it's in the TV series, Ooh. like a like a news flashback to this day ten years ago or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, so it's in it. So it's definitely a sequel to the comic book and not to the the movie. Oh my God, which I think See, is a ballsy move. All all I can sit, uh, all I can picture now. Is, do you remember the story you told me of going to see Watchmen and there was a guy in there taking notes? Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's wrong. I just imagine an all those people writing angry letters to the studio that made this TV show. Yeah. To the point where they were like, okay, screw it, we'll just do a sequel to the graphic novel. Forget the movie. Forget the movie. Uh, right, what else have we got? Yes, we've got some details talking about Ghostbusters a couple minutes ago uh, by Paul Rudd's character. Yes, he is a seismologist. He's a seismologist, according to director of the original <laughs> two movies, Ivan Reitman, who has come to this small town because they've been having mysterious earthquakes. He is also uh, teaching a summer school in the town, so he's a seismologist, oh my God. Do, and he's a teacher. He definitely goes... Do you, know what he, do you know what that exact description sounds like? Yeah. I know you don't watch the show. Randy Marsh in South Park. Right, okay. Because he's a seismologist. Right. He, he moved to South Park to study volcanoes. Right. Oh, my God. He, he literally is. He's Randy Marsh. Um, That'd be a lot funnier if you watched South Park and understood that reference. Okay. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, he's definitely a Ghostbuster. He's a Ghostbuster. He's a yeah, he's Ghostbuster he's material. Ghostbuster. Hell yes, he is. Um, and do you know what the great thing is, too? I don't think we'll see any jumpsuits in this movie. Oh, we think it'll There'll be, be no flight suits. It'll, it'll be... Do you know what I'm imagining Paul Rudd wearing? Jeans, a sweater with a sport coat over it. Right. And a proton pack. Kind of like Vankman in Ghostbuster 2. Sort of, sort of, yeah, but more relaxed. Okay. Casual wear with old busted proton packs. Um. Yeah, I, do, I have no question in my head that Paul Rudd is going to be leading this franchise forward from here. Yeah, I, I don't have to. any question in that in my mind. And to me, that's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, what and, else? and also, we uh, Jason Reitman has been teasing the life out of us over on Instagram. Yes, Tobin Spirit Guide. Tobin Spirit Guide. Yeah, this is the first actual physical appearance of it in any Ghostbusters movie. Yes, that's true. Um. No sign of space catalogue, though. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he teased us. He put this image out last night. Uh, I was actually going to write the story today and didn't get a chance. 
um, to most people, it's just a book to Ghostbusters fans. It's huge. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, and, and do you know what's so amazing about it too is it all came from one line yeah. from Spangler. And it, now it's actually in a Ghostbusters movie. I do you know what it is? And like looking at the cover and looking at how pristine it looks, you know for a fact that's been sitting in Ray's bookshelf for years. Yeah, and you know for a fact that uh, come this time next year, it's going to be sitting on all our shelves. Fuck yes. So there's definitely going to be reproductions of this. I mean, I know that uh, like the guys at IDW did a great job making their own version of Tobin's oh, yeah, of course, Spirit yeah. Guide. But look at that cover! Look at that cover. I know. It's leather bound. It's leather bound. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Dan Aykroyd talked about the story. Said he's, it's a wonderful story because people seem to be to continue to be interested in thirty five years after we come out with the first one. And I think we're trying to expand that a little bit. I think Jason's movie does that. This story is about family. Uh, although the girls' movie kept the concept and the ideas alive, it was really good, and they were great in it. It was like uh, give it, it wasn't like giving it to a new generation. The actual descendants of the original Ghostbusters. So we're going to link the DNA of old and new here. So um, to sum that all up, you've learned from your mistakes. Yes, uh, and we saw that we've got a leaked image as well. I didn't put it on FTN because people complain, and I didn't think it was big enough to write a full story over. Uh, but it was the image of the actor one. With the door open and the proton pack, and one of the kids from the movie, Sydney, yes, who looks like a young Egon, McKenna Grace, yeah, McKenna Grace, um, with the glasses and the tall hair, yeah, and like because people actually, and I'm part of like a load of Ghostbusters groups on Facebook and stuff, and people were like, this actually made me slightly emotional looking at this, yeah, because it looks like a young Egon sitting in it. Jo- I, no question, these kids aren't Spangler. I'd rather have uh, comments like that than comments like, it's just spoiler. Yeah, no, it spoiled the whole movie for me. Why you spoil? Uh, there was people saying, I that hate that though. I hate that. Like, it, it's a picture. I know. It's just a picture. I know. You don't know who that little girl is. You don't know why she's sitting in that seat. You don't know where the actor one came from. I know. Relax. I know. Jesus. People need to relax. It's just a movie. Definitely people need to relax. Across everything, people just need to chill. Just there's out. so many people up to 11 now. Yeah. Brilliant. Over the little thing. I mean, like, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier on. Whenever you posted the thing, is Bill Murray in Ghostbusters 3? Everyone was lining up to go, no, it's just visiting the set me. Yeah. Got a lot of shards though. We got like, thousands of shards across different Ghostbusters boards. Yeah, well, that's because it's, like hatred sells. But <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But like unbelievable. Face off is being remade. Fuck off, more like. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Did you watch the Jurassic Park short battle? I did. Big yes, Rock? it was really good. I saw this and I enjoyed it a lot. Do you know where it was filmed? Where was the film? Dublin. Fuck off. <laughs> There's nowhere in Dublin that's that green I swear anymore. To God, it was filmed Get in out of here. I swear to God, it was filmed in Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. Colin Trevorrow. It was filmed just outside Dublin because the trees in it um, that grow on wherever Island Nublar was originally, uh, they're actually the same trees right outside Dublin. Oh my and God. They over and they filmed it all in Dublin. Jeez. It's great though. I that's really liked it. I, I could have sworn that was North America. Yeah, so I, it looks amazing on, on the thing. I couldn't believe it was Dublin either. Uh, there you go that's that's cameras and color correction for you it really is it was really but, good yeah it was it was fantastic it was uh it was brief because it was a short movie i think if anything that is damage control because that, of how badly received the last movie was no it's because the last movie shouldn't exist yeah joe you know should have happened at the end of the first movie dinosaurs should have broke free got on the mainland uh, because realistically, the the one that came out there last year, I want to say it was, yeah. uh, Fallen Kingdom. It was such a waste of a movie. Yeah, it was literally it was it was two hours of oh here we've got the dinosaurs off the island. Ah oh, Jesus, we've let the dinosaurs loose. You know, it was that's really it. So with this short, I think it's them trying to give you an idea of no seriously, it gets better. Where do you see Jurassic World three? It's class. It, it's got stuff like this in it. I remember seeing the trailer for the Lost... What was it called? The Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. I remember seeing the trailer for it and I thought they were going to go full out horror movie on it. Do you know what it is? It's really bizarre. Because it has this really awful, clunky tonal shift. Mm-hmm. Where it goes from, Oh, Jesus, action movie. There's a volcano going off. Dinosaurs, madness. Then from that it goes to horror movie in a in a haunted house. Yeah, well, I really liked that idea. I thought that was a really good idea. It's just clunky. Yeah, and, yeah, but that's what I mean. But I, I was excited for it before I went in, and when I was in, I was just like, what "The hell is this?" It's a wasted. It's wasted potential. And then clones and everything at the end. Oh, just, just don't get me started. It was so bad. They're alive, like me. <laughs> so I'm going to let a bunch of killer dinosaurs out into the world for no reason. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Did you see the new clip from Jane Silent Bob reboot? Is that the uh, the Blunt Man and Chronic? Yeah, with Supergirl with Melissa Benoist and Val looks Kilmer. So bad, doesn't it though? It looks so bad. Kevin Smith, what happened? Uh, weed. What happened? Weed and a heart attack. That's what will do to you. I I don't know. Like I, the first Jane Silent Bob movie was terrible to me. That was where Kevin Smith fell off the the bandwagon. Uh, but this looks all kinds of awful. Yeah. I don't. I don't even know. Is because I know he's doing like this tour of America with it. I don't even know if it's getting a theatrical release. It is. Yeah. Is it definitely? Yeah, yeah. It's getting it's, released over here. I, I forget who's doing it. Universal's doing it over here. Oh God. You know, I'm gonna go and see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go see it. And do you know what? I'm just. I'm not gonna take it in any slight degree seriously. Do you know what? Like, if it, if it makes me laugh, it makes me laugh. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't care if the, the, the plot makes any sense, if the script's any good, whatever the hell's going down, it's just probably just all going to be dick and fart jokes. Yeah, if we're lucky. But it looks, no, it looks so, so bad. Um, right, the poster dropped for Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. That messed with my eyes. That, yeah. I, I admire the balls of it being unlike anything you've ever seen before, ever. Yeah. Uh, but it it is a bit of a nightmare. It it hurts my eyes to look at. Yeah, because it's a massive picture of Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn's face. And don't get me wrong, anytime I see Harley Quinn's face or or Margot Robbie's face, class. But it's just all the little figures around her. Yeah, I it's think just, it's it, meant to be. Do you know, like in the old Looney Tunes cartoons, when they but that's around the, the top of the head. Yeah, this is in front of her eyes. It's I know, just, but I think that's what they're going for. It's so off putting to look at. I know it is. It's kind of weird. Uh, but having said that, in the poster, um, we get Rosie Perez as Renee Matoya, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Huntress, uh, Chris Messina as Victor Saz, um, who actually, this is kind of a big deal, and I remember I got into a bit of a row over this on Twitter. Victor Saz was in Gotham, but he had a shaved head. Yeah. But in the comics, Victor Saz has tight blonde hair. Mm. And somebody was like, oh, it doesn't look like Victor Saz. And I was like, actually, if you were reading it in the 90s when... Uh, Alan Grant and, and Norm Breffogel created the character mm. that's exactly what he looks like and then this guy was like well it's not the most popular version of Zaz and I was like it really uh, is. You, you don't get that it really is you don't understand really you is. fools uh, but so I was glad to see that he actually does have the blonde hair that Zaz has in the comics because um, Norm, Norm Breffogel was always my favourite Batman artist uh, we also got a first look at Ewan McGregor as the Black Mask uh, who looks quite flamboyant yes which is probably going going down that route of the rumours that we talked about we, in this yes, podcast before. I believe so. Um, and then, of course, we've got Robbie's Harley Quinn, who's the main image. We've got Journey Smollett Bell as Black Canary. Um, and Ella J. Basco as Cassandra Cain. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I Did you know Journey Smollett Bell was Jussie Smollett's sister? No. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> Google that one. All right. Uh, yeah, it just I don't I don't know I I I get the feeling this movie could be a train wreck. It it looks like a beautiful mess. I'll not lie. It uh, just it it just looks. It's got the same visual aesthetic as Suicide Squad. No, I don't think just, it even does. Just from the look of it, it's just it's got that weird kind of neon bright kind of like look to it. It looks like it's got that same kind of loose storytelling mentality to it where everything's kind of all over the place but the thing that i find slightly concerning about it and i understand why they've done it and i kind of like it but there's an absolute lack of any sort of super suits or costumes or you know it's kind yeah, of the, just everybody wearing their own clothes yeah the costumes look a little bit drab don't they like i mean they they, they just look like they went okay here's a charity shop where a bunch of clowns from a circus have dumped all their old outfits yeah. into mix and match yeah i just you know th- I just kind of I need there to be a Batman in this or a dead shot or you yeah because it just looks like it's going to be a bunch of evil bastards hanging out for about two hours and yeah. smoking cigarettes and having a drink and I do I do don't get me wrong I kind of like that idea I like that they're going to just change the comic book movie idea but at the same time do you know what it looks like it looks like um, Clueless or Zoolander or something that's exactly yes it's got doesn't Zoo- it oh my god Zoolander the worst movie it, ever it's, made it, it literally has that Zoolander like where it's just like nothing happens yeah that's just two hours of dickheads hanging out wearing stupid <laughs> costumes <laughs> yeah 
Um, right, this was the big news of the week for me. Uh, I don't know how you feel about this, but...